Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2022. I am so excited. I'm gonna show you all the holiday treats. We're gonna watch the Christmas parade and fireworks, see some super rare characters, and drink lots of hot cocoa. Anywho's, let's go do this. All right, we are all checked in. I've got my wristband and my map, and the party officially starts at 7 p.m., but you get in as early as 4 p.m., and tonight's party costs $160. Each night, they have different prices, and as it gets closer to Christmas, they get a little bit more expensive, so I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth $160? There's a lot to take in, and I'm gonna try to show you guys everything. I decided to get all festive and I have a Santa hat on and one of my favorite holiday Roosevelt shirts. Let me know if you know what movie that's from. And I came on opening night but it was raining so bad and usually I wear my pajamas and I did that night and I couldn't make a video because it just non-stop pouring. So tonight's gonna be the first night where it's just like clear weather and I'm excited. One of the things I'm most excited for tonight, other than the all we care to enjoy hot cocoa and cookies, is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. I love that parade so much, and also, I can't wait to see snow on Main Street USA. I love this party so much, and it always just makes me feel happy. They have special treat locations all around the park that have hot cocoa and eggnog and cookies and it's free. It's included with your price of admission and we're going to try to go to all of those so I can let you know which one's my favorite cookie and then also some special holiday like snacks that you can purchase only sold out during the party and I want to try a couple of them as well. It's time to get our free ornament. Hi! Oh, Thank you. Of Look course. at this. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. I love this, this is such a nice ornament. And it's metal, it's actually solid. I think in the past they gave out paper ones, so definitely an upgrade. Some of the rides have holiday overlays to them, like Space Mountain. It is so incredible because it's all lit up like red and green, and they play Christmas music. It's almost like riding with the lights on, and it's definitely my favorite version of Space Mountain. And then also the teacups are the same way too, and we have to do those, those are a must. Here is a quick look at some of the special snacks you can buy, and they've got a lot of good ones. I'm excited to try this Christmas tree cake, but some of these you can actually get before the party starts. Some of them you have to wait until six o'clock to actually order it, but uh, some you can get now, and that's what I did. I ended up getting the holiday dinner dog. Look at this holiday dinner dog, all beef hot dog with cranberry mustard, savory stuffing funnel, and cheese curds. And look at this bad boy. It looks so good, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not too sure about that uh, cheese curds, but that's a beefy hot dog. That's a beefy hot dog, and they sell it in the small and then the foot long, too. Depending on what you want to get done during the party, there's a lot of things that you can do in between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. that like you can actually line up for the party early. So like if you wanted to go meet some of the characters, I know that Jack Skellington and Sally, Sandy Claus, you can get in line as early as 4.30. If you're looking to get some of the snacks, you can get some of the snacks. And I would take advantage of that time because once the party starts, it's like go mode. You're like go, go, go. And for me, I definitely want to try some of the snacks. I also want to see some of the characters because they're really cute. But let's dive on into the holiday dinner dog. The holiday dinner dog. Let's be honest, I don't have the highest expectations on this hot dog right now. I mean, it looks really good, but I'm not too sure how I feel about the cranberry and the stuffing funnel pieces, but I'm going for it. I'm gonna try to lift it up a little bit and just take a nice bite, get a little bit of everything in there. Mmm, very meaty, wow. All right, my favorite thing about this holiday dinner dog is definitely the stuffle, the stuffing, the stuffle, the stuffing funnel cake pieces. They are so good, like just think of, think of a funnel cake made out of stuffing and that's exactly what it is. Like it tastes so good, I could just eat that. I wonder if I can get an order, like a side of uh, stuffing funnel cake pieces, please. It's also incredibly messy. After you take that first bite, it's all gonna fall apart, but I really love the stuffing on there. I wish they would actually make like a turkey dog version of that. That'd be really good, actually. Can you imagine like a Casey's holiday turkey dinner dog? Like that would be, I mean, hey. 
All right, enough of the hot dog business. Now it's time to get down to the pie business. And over at Pecos Bills, they have a Texas sized sweet potato pie. And just look at this beauty. It's a big sweet potato pie with marshmallow meringue and candied pecans. And it just looks so amazing. I'm, I, this, I'm actually so excited to try. Look at the meringue on there. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And this is also available before the party starts. So if you wanna come get this, you can get it before it even starts and then get the stuff that's later. And I have to say for a Texas size sweet potato pie, this was only $5 and I think like 79 cents. And that is so cool. And we're gonna dive in. Look, it's actually not even like, there's not even like a little tin around the crust. I thought they were gonna have something, but it's like fresh baked. Look at that. And I don't have a fork, so I'm just gonna bite into it. I'm gonna bite into a, a pie here. Wow, this is such an amazing dessert right here. I love it so much. The sweet potato and then the marshmallow. What a combination. Wow. And for under $6, this is such a great treat. You gotta get as many nuts as you can in one bite, though. But I'm impressed. I'm definitely uh, gonna have to say this might be one of my favorite treats. And I haven't even tried a lot tonight. It is now officially six o'clock, so anyone that is not staying for the party has to leave, and they're checking everyone's wristbands. The park is starting to close now, and anyone that doesn't have a wristband has to leave, and that happens at six o'clock. As you can see, all the people leaving right here, and then this is all party guests over here. Lots of more open space. Well, here it is, another Christmas time. And I must agree with my grandchildren, it's just about the neatest time of the year. One of the nicest things about the holiday season is exchanging greetings with our many friends. For these messages from all over the world represent the true spirit of Christmas in many different ways. All right, we are in Storybook Circus, and here's the plan. We want to see Santa Goofy because he's always back here. And because we're back in this far corner, we're going to be able to come up, hit the teacups up, which have the holiday overlay. It's really cool. Then maybe scoot over to Space Mountain, do the holiday overlay there, get some hot cocoa and some cookies, and then make it down for the 830 parade. We're going to see if it works out that way, but that's what I'm aiming for. Santa Goofy always comes out over by the Barnstormer and there's nobody in line. He's gonna come out in just 20 minutes. So I'm gonna be the first person to meet Santa Goofy. Look at this, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna be here waiting. I'm Santa Goofy's biggest fan. Woo Santa Goof! All right, yeah, oh yes, excited. Hello there, sir, how are you? I'm so excited to come and see you. You're my favorite. I'm a big fan. I'm a, yep, a big fan. I've been, I've been waiting here like as your number one fan, just waiting in line. Yep. Oh, that is the best. I am so excited. Merry Christmas, Goof. <laughs> Hugs from Santa Goof. That's the best. See ya. Have a great Christmas. Bye. <laughs> Santa Goof is amazing. I love him so much. And look at that. The party just started exactly one minute ago and we already got our first character meet and greet done. Like that's amazing. That's why I love coming in like kind of having a little plan. Now we're gonna head to the teacups and ride the holiday overlay. And that's gonna be so much fun. Look at this, hardly nobody in line. We timed this perfectly and look how fun it looks in there. I cannot wait. The fog, the music, the lights. <laughs> All right, here we go. And don't worry, I don't like to spin fast. I just kind of like going for the ride. But listen to the music. Oh! <laughs> nice and easy. This is awesome. I love it so much. Okay, we'll give it a little spin. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I love that I got my little Santa hat on. This is the way. <laughs> Woo! I could ride this all the time. They should just keep this as the ride, period. Always. I love it. <laughs> that was so much fun and I don't know about you but I can go for a hot cocoa now 
Also, right outside the teacups, you can meet Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And then right over here is our first little uh, holiday treat stop. Hot cocoa and a cookie. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I will. Bye. Our first hot cocoa of the night and a snickerdoodle cookie. And I am so excited. I've been looking forward to this all night. Perfect temperature. Not too hot and very chocolatey. Love it so much. And then the first cookie of the night is a snickerdoodle. And look at this. Much too good. The combination. Little cookie, little hot cocoa. That's how you do it. They're so soft and they're even more softer when you wash it down with the hot cocoa. So take a bite of a cookie and then some hot cocoa. That is the way. We're gonna take our hot cocoa and snickerdoodle cookie and make our way over to Space Mountain. Maybe stop at another treat stop up the way. I think there's one actually on the way, but I'm so excited for Space Mountain. This is gonna be so much fun. I plan on trying all the free cookies and giving you guys a ranking on which one I like most to which one I didn't like as much and uh, tons of hot cocos. And I'm so excited to bring this in the line with us as we wait for Space Mountain. I don't know how long we're gonna be waiting because it's only a 30 minute wait, so look at that. And also, that's the outside of Space Mountain. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, look, it's changing colors. It's doing a little dance. Oh, that is so awesome. That's what it's gonna be like on the inside when we go to ride. Also, we're using the single rider hack. Look at this. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but if you're a single rider, you skip most of the line after the touch point. I love that. All right, here we go. Gonna have to take off the hats. The hats for this one. I'm all. Here we go. I am so excited. Yes! <laughs> yes! Look at the joy on my face right there. Look at the happiness. I was so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now. That ride is my favorite ride of all time. Like out of any ride I've ever ridden, Holiday Space Mountain is my favorite. Not Space Mountain, Holiday Space Mountain. It's just so thrilling. And the Christmas and the lights and being able to see everything, it's just so good. I, I just wanna stay here and just keep riding it. But. There's a lot to do. Maybe we'll try to come back. I want to get maybe one more ride in. Oh, the Tomorrowland dance party's happening. It's snowing too. Oh, we got fireworks and Buzz Lightyear. Yes. This is great. on Main Street. And I think it's time for another treat. Look at this. 
I think, oh, this is warm apple cider and another cookie. Look at this, double fisting it on the ciders now. Well, this one's kind of like half full, so. I thought it was hot cider, but I think it's cold cider. And then we've got ourselves a buttercream frosted red sprinkle cutout cookie. But it's just a circle, it's just a cookie, so I don't know what the cutout is, but I'm excited. I'm gonna try, well, we gotta try the cider first. Cheers. That's very good cider. Very good. And now for the cookie. Uh, I don't know about this one. But the cider. Very good. Now, you can get as many cookies as you want. She actually just handed me two cookies, and I was just like, well, thank you. Sad this isn't my favorite cookie. The snickerdoodle is definitely better. Maybe we'll go back and get some snickerdoodles later, but we have a lot of cookie and uh, cocoa spots left to go. Just to give you guys a heads up, Tomorrowland is probably the most festive land. Basically, all the rides over there have holiday overlays. We didn't get to do the Tomorrowland Speedway. That has a holiday overlay with Christmas lights. The Laugh Floor actually has their own overlay. They have the stage show. We caught a little bit of that. They have two treat locations. So that's a good place to start, but we're gonna make our way over to Frontier, uh, Frontierland and see what else they have to offer and try to catch the parade. Looks like everybody is starting to line up for the 8.30 parade. So we might actually just head over to Main Street so we can catch the parade there. I want to see it snowping. I want to see it snowing on Main Street. So uh, it's definitely a full house. And they also have some like area that is blocked off because they're doing a special holiday taping here tonight and tomorrow. So that actually takes up more room. Usually it's not this crowded. Oh yeah, it looks like it's a little bit crowded here on Main Street. Here is the parade pump up. It's a Christmas miracle! It's snowing in Florida! parade pump up was awesome I love that with the little snowballs and then snow I mean I didn't expect it to actually start snowing this early usually they do it during the parade but there was a pleasant little surprise oh there it is music really really gets me happy and a little emotional too so it's literally making its way down Main Street right now and I'm so happy the snow is happening
just love that parade so much. It was amazing, and we had such a good spot seeing the snow, and all the characters are coming up to the camera, and I was getting all excited and giddy. And also, uh, it's fun to mention, if you were waiting for any characters, like doing any meet and greets, if they're in the parade, they're not gonna be meeting and greeting guests, because like if Santa Claus is in the parade, he can't be in two places at once. So he'll go back in, and then come back out once the parade is done. So if you wanna actually go wait by those spots, you might actually see them coming back to their spot. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go see if we can get our eyes on Santa. Oh, and there he is. Santa's coming to town. Look at that. I'm so excited, Santa's here. That's awesome. Look at that, we got to see Santa Claus. And now I think it's time for some more treats. Gonna go find uh, more uh, holiday treat locations. Gotta get more cookies and then we have the stage show, then we have the fireworks show. There's so much, and then we can watch the parade again. We can ride more rides, meet more characters. The night is pretty young, it's only 9.30. And I think 10 o'clock is the fireworks. So we have to be back out in the hub area at 10 o'clock. Don't wanna miss the fireworks. Those are just phenomenal. Look at how empty it is over here in Frontierland. There's hardly anybody over here. I think our next treat location is on the other side of Pecos Bills. So we're just gonna make our way over there and just do a big loopy. Come around Adventureland and then back out to the hub. Sounds like a pretty solid plan. Here is our next little uh, treat location. I don't know what they got over here. I think it's eggnog. Ooh, I don't like eggnog that much. I want more hot cocoa. There we go. How are we? We got cookies and eggnog? Yes. Just take them, grab and go. Yes. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> we got our eggnog and our cookie, and I hear the reindeer roundup is happening, so we gotta make our way over there. I love the reindeer roundup. Here comes Big Al. <laughs> Wow, this is such a great time. Eggnog and all. Best thing right here. <laughs> the reindeer wranglers are so much fun. I love them. It's like a real party over there, and they have scheduled times uh, just out front of the Country Bear Jamboree. But we got to get to our eggnog and cookie. And I'm not the biggest fan of eggnog, but I'm gonna drink it for science. <laughs> here we go. Actually, that's not bad. That's a very good eggnog. I would drink that. Very nice. Now we're gonna eat the cookie here. This is like the same thing as the last cookie. Buttercream frosted green sprinkle cutout cookie. I mean, it's okay, it's a good cookie, but there's still nothing better than the snickerdoodle. Now we gotta make our way over to the Columbian Harbor House. That's the next little uh, treat stop there. Everything's marked with the candy cane. And I think they got the hot cocoa here. We need the goods. All right, what do we got here? I got hot chocolate and cookies. All right, I'm on hot cocoa and cookies. What kind of cookie is it? Oh, chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. Classic, I like it. Thank you. Can I have another hot cocoa one? Oh, yeah, definitely. All yours. Double fisting it. That's the way. <laughs> We're going to stack it like that. A bada bing, a bada bing. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right, now we got the classic chocolate chip. Classic chocolate chip, you say? And I got hot chocolate, some hot cocos, and I think we're gonna go see the fireworks after this. So I asked for two cups because I'm telling you, the fireworks are even better while you're holding a cup of hot cocoa. So cheers. So good. Wow. 
Definitely Snickerdoodle still number one, then chocolate chip, then the uh, weird buttercream frosting ones. But this is a good one. Oh, I love the hot cocoa though. Now it's time for fireworks and I'm so excited.
those fireworks are so amazing. I really love them. They give me chills every single time I watch them. And now I hurried over to Storybook Circus because I really want to meet Scrooge McDuck. This meet and greet over here is usually one of the longest lines and I figured after the fireworks they're probably going to be a lower wait time only because you get to meet Donald and Scrooge and Minnie and Daisy. So you get to meet four characters in one line. So I think we're going to go in for it. It looks a lot better than what I saw every time I was creeping over looking at it. And plus we get to meet Scrooge McDuck. That's the best thing ever. I think we planned accordingly because there's almost nobody in line. Look at this. I've seen this line all the way out past Dumbo. After the fireworks, I think we only waited probably about 20 minutes and we're about to see four characters. So that's not too bad because some of the lines are like 60 minutes just for one character and not to mention it's Scrooge McDuck. And look at this. We've got Donald and Scrooge. Very happy to see both of you today. Thank you so much, especially you, Scrooge, and put me in the festive spirit. <laughs> I like it, yeah. But you look great, Donald. You look fantastic. And, oh, kinda, kinda, not so much. I mean, yeah, I do like your hat, though. The hat is definitely a winner. And the earmuffs. Do ducks have ears? I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly, I gotta look. I mean, obviously, I think they do have ears. But, like, now I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah. Well, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays and uh, thank you. I guess uh, I'll see you later. Thanks. Yeah. Have a great one. Bye. <laughs> I loved meeting Scrooge. That was really awesome. I didn't know how to act though. I mean, if you guys don't know, Scrooge is Donald's uncle, but uh, he is kind of a Scrooge. So it's kind of like Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? And now we can actually go meet Minnie and Daisy like right, right afterwards. So. That whole time, the 20 minutes wait is for four characters kind of worth it. Hi, friends. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Daisy. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. You guys look fantastic as always. I like the outfits. You got matching shoes on. Very cool. Did you plan that? Yeah, I would say so. It's the holidays, right? Very cool. And I like your bows. They're very nice. And it's just a great holiday season. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> Meeting Minnie and Daisy. Actually, that whole entire experience was really fun. And I feel like we're getting a lot accomplished tonight. Uh, I think we have one more treat spot, and that's over at Pinocchio's Village House. So we're going to head over there next. And then, I don't know, kind of figure out what to do then. I mean, the night is creeping up on us. I don't know if this is a different cookie, but I'm hoping for some hot cocoa at this stop. We'll see once we get in there. Oh, well, look at how pretty it is over here. I just like listening to the Christmas music. It really gets me happy. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of cookie we got here? Um, gingerbread. Gingerbread Oh my lord. And a hot cocoa? Thank you. All right, here we go. Last cookie. A buttercream frosted gingerbread cookie. Why couldn't they just keep the buttercream away? Like, I'm just not the biggest fan. But, uh... This is gonna be good because I do like gingerbread and mixing it with hot cocoa, I feel like that's a perfect combination. So, cheers. Oh yeah. I really like that gingerbread. Mm. I have to say, it goes snickerdoodle number one, gingerbread number two, chocolate chip number three, and then the other buttercream sugar cookies last but I did like this gingerbread a lot very good I made my way back down to the front of the park and the 11 o'clock parade should be starting anytime soon and I figured why not see what Jack and Sally's like like you know we lucked out with seeing all four of those characters right after the fireworks maybe we'd be better on a wait time during a parade so we're gonna peek in there real quick and just see what it's like maybe we'll get to see them maybe we won't well, it says 45 minutes, so we'll see what it's like. I'm not too sure how long the wait is. It says 45 minutes, but I don't think it is. And Mickey has no wait. You can just walk in to see Mickey right now, but I think we're gonna see Jack and Sally. Look at that. Nobody in line to meet Mickey Mouse. And then this is the line for Jack and Sally. And may I say, this has been up to 120 minute wait, I think. But there's like 10 people in front of me, I think. 
This was such a great idea. We really lucked out. This is my first time actually ever getting to meet Jack and Sally. I usually skip it because it's such a long wait, but this worked out perfectly and I'm very excited. I get to meet him in his Sandy Claws like outfit. Wow, I have to say the production value in this meet and greet is like far better than anything I've ever seen. Like any other meet and greet. Look at this. I'm like ready to go into another world. They don't even have tape on the floors. They have the little snake from the movie and then they've got all the characters up here. Little Zero and Oogie Boogie. I love it. And look at all the pumpkins too. This is really amazing. I really love it so much in here. Gracie actually dressed up as Zero this year for Halloween. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Happy out here now. Well, well, well. well. What have we here? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wonderful. I see skulls. That being electric. I see yep. people running in terror. There's terror. There's definitely terror. And I'm looking fast. Indeed. Indeed. Their wings could be a bit more tattered, but I'm sure Dr. Finkelstein would be able to help. Those ones, huh? Oh. This one here is Zero's favorite. But this one right here is mine. Would you like to know why? Why? I've never seen it before in my life! Or what? by death for that matter. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I'm hoping it's a spy. I guess. So many possibilities. We do have an entire casket for we can send some of your way. Oh yeah, I mean I would love so. Especially around the holidays. We have to make sure everyone gets an equal amount of fright this year. We have to figure out what it is though. What's this? I mean... <laughs> that's what I'm trying to find out, but that's what it is. It's just not popping out. Yep. Not a spider egg sack at all. Well, this has been a really wonderful. One can only hope that it would make a marvelous ingredient for some of your students. Yeah. Ooh. Do you like to enjoy the treats around Halloween? I do. Christmas? Yes. And I love all your stews, too. It sounds like you have quite the palate. Yeah. yeah. It's a job to die for Frog's breath? <laughs> is that one of your favorite stews? It is. A big for my taste. To each their own. I would have waited an hour and a half for that. I was smiling ear to ear. That was literally the best meet and greet I've ever been to. What a night tonight. I'm having the best time ever. I was planning on watching the last stage show, which I think was at like 11.55, but uh, I was a little bit too long inside Jack and Sally. I think it already started. So we're gonna have to skip out on that one because it's time to start making our way home. But like I said, it was so worth it actually, me and Jack and Sally. I never like smiled so much before. And I guess with that, we are calling it a night here tonight. It was a wonderful night. Honestly, compared to my first night's experience, and basically uh, I broke my glasses, my camera, and my umbrella in one night, this has been just a dream come true. Honestly, I feel like we got so much accomplished. We got to meet one, five, six, seven. We got to meet seven characters. We tried all the cookies, all the sweet stops, three different ones. We got to do two ride overlays. We got to see three shows, the full parade, the fireworks we did a lot and I feel good about that I really hope I'm gonna be able to get tickets to bring my mom and sister to this they sold out already for November there's only like three dates left but they're coming down soon and I definitely want to bring them so if they open up some more we're definitely coming and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video let me know what you guys think I would pay $160 for this I mean I, I think it's just such a phenomenal party and uh, yeah let me know in the comments what do you guys think is it worth $160 I feel like it is, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.